It's been a long road back to winning ways for Danny Willett, who struggled to get back to the form that saw him don the green jacket back in 2016. Anna Whiteley walked a hole with him at the Nedbank Championship the week before his Dubai victory to find out how his fortunes were starting to change. Danny, it's great to see you. You had a brilliant week in Turkey, right up there in contention over the weekend. That must be a pretty good feeling. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. We've been working pretty hard and played a lot of golf over the last couple of months where the body's been feeling pretty good. And um, yeah, just nice to get a few, a few good rounds. We had some nice spells at CJ Cup um, in Korea where we, we, we played some really good golf and didn't quite get things out of it. Worked hard in the week before Turkey and kind of carried that carried that forward, which is nice. And another top ten in a, in, in a Rolex Series event got us obviously comfortably in Dubai and we're in here. Um, so yeah, all good things. Yeah, you are. I, you might think I'm just saying this, but you are one of the hardest working men in golf. Mm. I know how hard you ground over the last two years or so, it's but to see the results and to see it all paying off, what kind of a feeling is that? Yeah, it's nice. Um, obviously, there's been moments where you're not quite sure. You know you're on the right track, but you're not quite seeing the results and you doubt a few bits and, and whatever. But no, the work that I've done with Foles um, and, and Kevin's been been world class, really. We've, we've kept the foot down and really kept working hard and trying to make sure that the body stays in a good place. And then yeah. that allows me then to practice more, allows the moves to be better, more consistent. Um, and everything just kind of feeds feeds from that, really. When the body wasn't good, you can't practice as much. So you can't really work your way out of a out of a bad spell because you can only hit so many balls so yeah. um it's now nice to get back on top of that stuff and um and yeah hopefully fingers crossed that was you know that was a nice little a nice little result of of, of a few things that are hopefully to come yeah absolutely and obviously your back has played a huge part in your career over the last couple of years but the work mm. that you've been doing with sean has that been all about minimizing movement and what have you been doing with yeah him? no yeah it's um obviously i got together with foley um after the uspj last year um and and kev duffy as well and between us all, we kind of came up with a, a plan foremost to, to make sure that the body was healthy. Yeah. Um, I'm 31 now. So old, you know, Danny. So old, <laughs> get, get, getting on. Everything was really centred around making sure that I could play for a bit longer and the body was in a better shape and could take, you know, flying all around the world, playing three, four weeks in a row mm -hmm. um, and not having to spend two hours on a physio bed yeah. in the morning, in the afternoon, trying to put it back together. So... Yeah, just everything was focused around getting the body in a good place and then making moves that kind of complement the work I'm doing in the gym with Kev and, um, and kind of bringing it all together. And yeah. So far, it's, so far it's been all right. So what, 2 to uh, 2 for 8 minus? Yeah. As in, you're, you're not trying to get the height out of it, aren't you? You're not trying to take the pitch right with this one. Yeah. yeah. So the journey that you've been on over the last couple of years is probably one that not many golfer can imagine what that's like, from becoming Masters Champion 2016 incredible to dropping outside the world's 300, but you've shown such persistence. Mm. How tough has it been? Yeah, it's been tricky. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, there's probably a few more than what people know. Obviously, I spoke a lot with a few of the guys that I would call close friends who were slightly older than me, Stenson, Westy, Sergio. You look at them guys, they've all... They've all reached the pinnacles at times of what uh, of, of their career. Stenson with the win at the Open, Sergio at the Masters, West has been world number one, and then at the same time they have also had you know slumps in there as well. I think yeah. it happens to everyone, just not quite on the same scale maybe at times. Um, so no, it was good to, to be able to chat to the guys and um, and obviously yeah, Foles being on board, um, family and everyone at home. Everyone's always you know they all from an outside looking in you think. I can't be that bad, you know, you, you're not be far off soon, you do this, you do this, but yeah, internally you're not quite sure you know, if things are going to go well, you, you're trying to, you're pushing so hard to try and get you to trying to get results in there just for a little bit of something to yeah. to kind of feed off, you know, you're putting in 10 hours work a day, trying to trying to grind it out there and all you're seeing is miss cut, miss cut, miss cut and then falls as a, as a character I don't know if many people Obviously, he's in, he's in America a lot. Um, you know, as a character, he's a fantastic person to be around. Um, he's got a great outlook on, on life. He's got a really balanced way of doing it. He wants to spend time at home with the family, but he also loves being out with the guys on tour and really trying to help it. He does a lot for the junior golfers. You know, he's been, he's been excellent in, in just making sure that I do stay on that path that we chose because it's, it's right. It's the right one to go down, Yeah. clearly. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and within all that, and then obviously, you know, I'm very lucky that, you know, at home I've got Nick and the kids, and um, when you do get home, you can kind of take your mind, you have to take your mind off golf. Absolutely. Um, but what is it, as you say, you've been putting in 10 hours a day and you didn't see the results for a while. What was it that got you up in the morning and kept you going? You know, you just, you know what you can achieve at this game. I know, I know what I can achieve when, yeah. when I'm at my best. Um, and I, I, I honestly think that I will be better going forward than I was when I won the Masters, which is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. I think you need to be these days, the level of golf that the guys are playing. You look at Brooks, um, you look at Rosie. I can't remember the last time he finished outside the top five, top yeah. ten, you know. Yeah. Brooks, every time he pitches up these days, he's, he's up in contention. Rory's obviously, you know, he's had, people think he's had a bit of a stale year, but he's still sixth yeah. in the world and he's still a season fifth that on most our races. Play. You know what I mean? And it's, yeah. it's them things that you look at and you go, you know what, I know I can, I know I can compete with the guys. Um, and you just got to kind of, you just got to kind of get up and work and, and kind of work through it. Um, you can do everything and stay pain free for a prolonged amount of time mm -hmm. whilst going to the gym. You know, whilst when you get home, then you've obviously you're picking up the kids, you're bending over all the time doing that yeah. kind of stuff. And yeah. that was the stuff when I was at my worst with the pain that was that was bad. Is that you know bending over to to pick the little man up was 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 painful. And that's then, you know, golf as annoying as it is to be in pain when you're swinging. It's more annoying to not be able to pick your kids up when they're crying or something. You need yeah. to sit on the floor because you're back and, <laughs> yeah. and try and comfort them. So no, it's you know there's a lot of really positive things, even aside the golf. Like I said, to be able to wake up knowing that you can perform what you want to do in the gym or on the golf course or in the practice, um, because you're not on painkillers, you're not on proof and paras every day or cocodamol or whatever it may be. You know you can get up and, and just kind of get on with your day and and yeah, the golf then has has kind of followed suit a little bit. We're still nowhere near where we want to be, yeah. um, me and Foles, but, but we're definitely a hell of a lot closer than we were. We certainly are. The hard work is paying off, Danny. Thank you very much. 2016 Masters champion, Danny Willett.